ladies and gentlemen, this is Olive Dragon 23 doing another uh, playthrough, video game playthrough. Today I thought we would take a break from Resident Evil 4 and do something a little bit closer to my heart. Um, Banjo Tooie. Um, I used to play this game all the time as a kid, and so I thought it might be worth my time to play through it again, and I've been dying to do so, so we're gonna just take a little trip through this game. Uh, sorry I don't have an intro for you, but that's the way it goes. And we might actually have to erase a file. Look at that. Uh, I'm trying to remember which is a good file. Uh, 2374 and 74, that's a copy. So we will just get rid of this one. Yeah, it's Kazooie, I'm sure, about erasing it. Alright, let's start this show, shall we? I'm so excited, you have no idea. This game was a ginormous part of my childhood. Um, so was the first one. These are probably my one, at one and two top favorite games ever in the entire world. <laughs> Apart from, uh, like, Star Fox 64 and some of those other Nintendo 64 games, but, I mean, like, the N64 barely had a bad game. I want to know how Gruntilda stayed alive all of this time, because no one can get to her and she's a skeleton in a minute. I- spoilers. This game's, like, 15 years old, I don't really care. Have you just been standing there trying to ship the rock the entire time? Two years is a long time to keep trying to do this, dude. Oh, come on. If she hadn't kidnapped our sister, we wouldn't have had to push her off a building. This is why we don't bet our life savings on poker with your buddies. Kazooie is amazing. <laughs> Just the humor and style of this game is absolutely amazing. It actually doesn't look that bad to be 15 years old. Yeah, there's hard polygons everywhere, but, you know, what are you gonna do? I, I just think artistically it looks very nice still. And the soundtrack, of course, is just astoundingly good. Like, I still sit around and listen to the music from this game. <laughs> a lot of the time. This part is probably gonna be mostly cutscene, and I apologize for that, but that's how the intro to games goes, and I am not able to, and don't want to, skip these cutscenes. So we're not going to. And you all can just skip through it if you don't like it. I love how the witches, witches, mind you, have a giant mechanical digging machine. Whole house shakes. Mambo is awesome. I'm, it's kind of cool that they made him playable uh, in this game. Also, where is Tootie? Shouldn't she be there? Because I'm pretty sure that like those guys are the only people that live in this valley. Also, how long was that pile of rocks there? one when you walk over near the waterfall, that pile of rocks is not present. Which probably means that they had an avalanche. 
<laughs> and nobody questioned it. Or something of that nature. Hello, weird sister number one. These guys confused me when I first saw them. They're amusing, though. I like that she randomly has a cat for no reason. Convincing anyone. Kazooie, you live in a backpack. You can't be scared of the dark. Kazooie's a bitch. <laughs> but I love her. She's my favorite of the two of them. Mostly because she's just such a hard head. Also, Mumble is. Mumbo has a skull for a face, but his eyes are able to make expressions anyway. Maybe he's related to Jack Skellington. <laughs> it's kind of cool that they introduced more of Gruntilda's family. Because in the first game you had, like, the good witch, whatever the heck her name was. And now you have these two suckers. <laughs> Sorry, panty shots. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I I've always wondered, though, how her bones are on the outside of her dress? I don't know. That design just confuses me. Oh, that's right! They were gonna get her body back! I forgot about that part of this. <laughs> the eye joke is amusing. And morbid. I like that that's the priority of her... of hers is... Hey, I'm gonna go kill Banjo now. Then again, if I was buried under a rock... I would probably be vengeful too. You have a castle this whole time? Other than your first lair? I can't run, my legs are too short. Oh, Mumbo. You can outrun her by miles. <laughs> 